that's just four of eight angels in this 49 gallon tank been uh, dealing with the black algae on the structures there and got some uh, really clean and replaced had some interesting plant growth just recently got some great anacris right there Uh, Tropicorium down in Ocean, New Jersey. The Java fern never quits. And the nice thing about that is even when the uh, leaves get covered with that black algae, you can just trim them off and they keep growing. Whereas the other plants, they get covered with it and it uh, tends to kill the plant. Especially when you're dealing with an Amazon sword like that one. New plant just next to it. I'm not sure exactly what plant that is. But it looked healthy and I couldn't resist it for $7.99 down there. And in the background we have a nice growth of Hornworth right behind the white structure. And now again with a very nice bunch plant for a reasonable price. They don't tend to last too long in the tanks, so I'm not sure where the source is. But I've been very pleased uh, in recent months at how well both the black mollies, which are not very big, but they're not growing big like the parents were. You'll see them down there among the, the gravel growth these are young ones that uh, have moved from the breeding tank. But the other one that surprised me is the neons have been surviving, I'm going to say six months now, and I haven't usually had luck with them. There's a school of about a dozen in here, and there's a dozen in each of the tanks. Right there by that Madagascar lace plant down toward the bottom, you can see one of those neons. And every once in a while they get together at school across the Front, but most of the time they seem pretty well separated. See some uh, lemon tetras right there in the middle. Some platies for some color. Hiding toward the back right now. I've got to have the front replanted. Uh, when my wife comes back, she's, uh, she's my gardener, as you will. I, I tend to go for a natural growth type, uh, whereas she really has the green thumb and when she gets through with it it looks totally different so maybe uh, later on after she gets through with it I'll capture that. Meanwhile we have uh, the one betta here. I love bettas but they tend to uh, take up a whole tank. So this blue one you'll see the other one in the corner tank in just a minute. I did have two bettas in this tank for a while and eventually gave up on that idea. Of course, they're not supposed to be together, but one, the fins got pretty much uh, trimmed down. So, had to give up on that. Water tends to be very hard and acid. And a friend just gave me some coral sand, he calls it, crushed coral. And I'm going to try and bring the uh, bring this back to neutral. And we got a couple of those neons fighting with each other right over here. That's unusual. But they certainly uh, are going at it. Wow. And of course right in the center there is uh, our famous upside down catfish that has been here now for well, more than 10 years. And when he comes out he's big. He started out as a very small fish. Uh, he tends to hide out unless I threw some food in there. I'm very pleased also that the clarity of the tank water stays just like it is right now. It's uh, usually pretty good. Not doing anything special for that. 
just happens to be uh, filtered well. Again, this I was reflecting on this just last night. Kind of nice. This is in our living room, and I've got a lounge chair that swivels and uh, swiveled this way. I'm sitting like five feet away from the tank and really sit back and enjoy the tank as opposed to being off in a separate room where so many people have their tank rooms separate and you got to get away from the family and everything to go enjoy them. Uh, this, you can turn around in commercials, for example, TV commercials, uh, while watching TV. And uh, there's another one of those beautiful angels. He's positioned rather well right now to capture. Look at those fins. Aren't they beautiful? So I get to enjoy the tanks being right here and then I can swivel my chair around and see the uh, this is the 50 gallon bow tank. The one in the corner is the hex tank. And so uh, I have the best of all worlds here. I sit back in my lounge chair and just enjoy the fish. Especially enjoy the gardening, the, the plants. Even if they don't last long, it's still uh, like having a lot of natural plants in here. There's no artificial plants in this tank right now. Sometimes I have to fill in with some artificial plants. But uh, right now, and it's interesting too to uh, capture them on video uh, over time and be able to go back and look at this tank at different stages. And it's really uh, quite interesting to see how different it looks at times uh, from one time to the next. another nice Amazon sword right behind that Madagascar lace plant. Madagascar lace plants do beautifully for a short while then that black algae takes over and uh, kills them. But sometimes I can keep the bulb and it'll come back. So you see there's leaves from the Madagascar lace plant just above where that betta is right now. Just picked that up the other day from again Tropicorium and uh, hopefully the leaves will thrive without the algae. And so that's the biggest of the tanks. Very enjoyable because it's got depth to it and the fish tend to hide out and come out between the plants. And I like a, plant, a tank like that gives you some mystery and get to see some activity and so even with ten angels in here you'll seldom see three or four at a time right now I'm counting six counting the two uh, black ones over here for example and somebody wants to get in the picture good for him oh we're gonna chase each other are we don't know what that's about I got a calico one, and then we got one of those silver ones up here. And there's those two black ones right below it. It's nice to be able to share a hobby with my wife who enjoys these as much as I do, so puts up with them. And at the same time, when we go to a fish store, she'll go looking for some fish and usually ends up buying some angels because she loves angels. And so these are really her collection of angels. Oh, there comes the big pleco down in the corner here. My friend Ray has really big plecos. This one's probably a quarter the size of his two plecos. You'd think this thing would do a good job on the uh, black algae, but it doesn't touch it. it doesn't touch it. So we've got a new uh, plan here. I'm going to take those structures as they build up on the algae and uh, give it to uh, his plecos 
when I go up there, drop them in the tank and leave them there. And the next time I come up, I pick them up, hopefully clean. See some of the colorful platies down the front here. Pam picked up a 10 sunset platies, just like that one down in the center here. We put those over in the corner tank to give it some color. You'll see that in a minute. And so with that, let's uh, say goodbye to these two gorgeous angels. And next time we'll see how that uh, coral sand helps in changing the hardness of the water and what that does to the plants and fish.